CMPS, we talk about improving the personnel system and bringing new flexibility to it. I wanted to ask um, if some of the constraints that sailors encounter now might be alleviated. I know in my career, I had some trouble with the categorization by year group, and I know some other sailors might have as well. Will these improvements reach um, some of the portions of the system like that? Yeah, I'm, uh, fundamentally, the, the, the part that frustrates officers and enlisted in our Navy today is this notion of tracking and managing everybody by your group. And it's, it's, it's part of the law, so it's something we have to deal with. It's part of our frustration, too. When we see really good sailors uh, out there who are doing extraordinarily well in the fleet and they want to re-enlist, but their rate uh, and, their, and their year group is overmanned and there's not an opportunity to re-enlist, we give them a choice. You can either leave or you can convert to another rate. And a lot of the sailors that join and are c committed to the, to the rate they're in, they don't want to leave that rate. So if we didn't have to worry so much about your group management in, in terms of the quantity, we could really go after the quality and put those people where they want to be. We want the motivated ones, the smart ones to stay in our Navy. And uh, I see example after example out there where a young petty officer who's uh, looking to stay in uh, is frustrated by the fact that a, another petty officer who may not be setting the world on fire uh, isn't as motivated, yet his year group isn't as overmanned and they get to re-enlist and he doesn't or she doesn't. I think that's a fundamental flaw in the way we have set this system up. And that you need information to manage that though. You can't just do it by saying we're not going to manage by year groups anymore. You've got to have readily available information. So on the officer side, same thing. We see young officers who choose to go a different path to success only to find themselves sidelined and unable to get back on the track to success because we manage them by your group. And it's so stand in line and wait your opportunity, wait your turn, as opposed to, am I ready? Have I met my milestones, my career aspirations? I'm ready to go. Why can't I get in the game, coach? And the answer is, well, it's not your time yet. That's a really frustrating conversation. Yeah. I know in the officer community, that'll be great to hear that we're looking at talent an opportunity in managing that in a in a non-linear way or in a less linear way, I should right. say.